With the surge in popularity of carnivore diets, it could be tempting to think that your dog doesn't need fruit and vegetables at all. But you might want to think again. Because even without the vitamins and minerals these foods bring, the value of dietary fiber alone is essential to your dog's health. Hi, I'm Evan and in this video, I'll be explaining exactly what fiber is and why your dog needs it for a healthy diet and lifestyle. Before we get started, just make sure to click subscribe and hit the little bell icon below so you don't miss any other helpful videos. So what is fiber anyway? Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that passes through the small intestine. Digestive enzymes can't break fiber down, so it doesn't get digested. Fiber is fermented once it's in the colon. This creates gases like carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and methane. It also produces short-chain fatty acids that are important for health, like acetate and butyrate. Short-chain fatty acids provide energy for cells in the colon. They also reduce glucose and cholesterol levels and protect against metabolic disease and obesity. Acetate is eventually also used by muscles for energy. Those are just a few of the important functions of small chain fatty acids. So, do dogs really need fiber in their diets? Yes, dogs need dietary fiber because it breaks down into short chain fatty acids, which provide real vital functions related to health. Short chain fatty acids are an important source of energy and they also protect the gut lining and support the immune system. But fiber has many more health benefits. Let's look at a few more reasons to include fiber as part of your dog's diet. One, antioxidant properties. Fiber protects antioxidants from being digested in the stomach and small intestine. Fiber then helps antioxidant nutrients travel to the colon. In the colon, they're released by the beneficial bacteria during fermentation, where they protect against disease and cancer. One study even found that fiber binds as much as 80% of cancer-stopping antioxidant polyphenols in fruits and vegetables. Two, strengthen the immune system. Fiber also feeds the beneficial bacteria in your dog's gut. That increases the production of short-chain fatty acids, including butyrate. Butyrate helps build T-cells in the immune system, which helps reduce chronic inflammation. Fiber also feeds lactic acid bacteria, which increases the acidity of the colon. This helps fight the growth of bad bacteria that leads to disease. Three, may help prevent cancer. Fiber reduces the risk of colon cancer in dogs because it speeds up elimination of your dog's digestive system. The faster potential carcinogens pass through, the less exposure your dog has to them and fiber binds to carcinogens. Four, aid digestion. When your dog's food has higher fiber content, it increases the volume of food and the amount of stool, helping it travel faster through the digestive tract. Fiber helps moderate the flow, so nutrients and water are better absorbed from the intestines into the blood. And some fibers create mucilage that helps food slide through the intestines. Five, regulate the bowels. Fiber can help regulate bowel movements. In cases of diarrhea, fiber can slow the muscular contractions that push the food through the intestines but it can also help speed up the contractions if your dog has constipation. This means fiber promotes good colon health and stool quality. Six, clean the gut. Fiber does a great job of massaging the gut to reduce inflammation and clean the mucous membranes. Fiber can also bind to toxins in the gut to remove them in the stool. It maintains a healthy balance in the gut, which regulates the bowels and keeps the colon healthy. Seven, manage weight. Obesity is one of the leading causes of disease in dogs. Fiber in your dog's diet can help keep his weight down. He'll feel fuller, get more nutrients, and still feel satisfied. Studies support the satiating effects of high protein, high fiber diets. They really work. Eight, control diabetes. Fiber can help control diabetes and support more stable blood glucose levels over time. When you add higher amounts of fiber to a diabetic dog's meals, the flow of food through the digestive tract slows, and so does the absorption of sugars into the bloodstream. Be careful though. If your dog takes diabetes medications, talk to your holistic vet before you add fiber to your diabetic dog's diet. His meds might need to be adjusted. Nine, improve anal gland issues. When a dog has anal gland issues or trouble pooping, adding fiber to his diet can help. Fiber increases the bulk of the stool to help empty anal glands. How much fiber do dogs need? Even though fiber is great for your dog, don't give him more than 10% of his diet as fiber. Gauge your dog's interest and feed accordingly. Start with 5% and then increase or decrease as you monitor his stool. Best fiber sources for dogs. Now that you know why your dog needs fiber in his diet, here are some easy ways you can add it to his meals. The best whole food fiber sources for dogs are broccoli, microgreens, berries, kelp, shiitake mushrooms, leafy greens, apples, carrots, green beans, and pumpkin. You can rotate these foods through your dog's diet to provide extra fiber and a larger variety of vitamins and nutrients as well. Cautions. Even high doses of fiber are usually okay, but if you really overdo it, too much fiber can bind to minerals and stop your dog absorbing nutrients. So it can lead to weight loss, poor coat quality, vomiting, diarrhea, and flatulence. 
And just as fiber can aid your dog's digestion and relieve constipation, too much fiber can also cause gas and diarrhea. So it's a delicate balance. Fiber is an important addition to your dog's diet. It's always best to add fresh food like those listed earlier. Then in addition to fiber, make sure he's getting extra nutrients that contribute to his long-term health. If you have any more questions about fiber in dogs, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe and visit dogsnaturallymagazine.com for more information. I'll see you in the next one.